Hey everybody, so this will be a quick video on some software that I use uh, that I strongly recommend uh, you use if you um, do a lot of connecting with people through uh, messaging apps, social media, that type of thing. So this is what it's called, it's Rambox. And if you just search Google, Rambox download, Rambox boost your productivity. Uh, Rambox is free. Here's the download. Now, um, we made some license changes. I do think, let's have a look at pricing. Yeah, there's the free community edition with 100 plus apps, 99 plus apps. You can pay for pro or enterprise, but you'll see all the apps that, that this is available for. The free version works for most everything that you would need it for. So anyways, go ahead and download that and install it. It installs just like any other app would. And what you end up with is this. Now, I've already signed into a whole bunch of these things, things that I'm not going to necessarily show you. But basically, um, you would get these different tabs here by just clicking on the different services that you want to add. And frankly, there's a lot of these that I don't even know what they are. Um, Fastmail, Fleep, Flock, Flowdoc, whatever. But you'll see there's things like Gmail, um, WhatsApp, of course, is in here, uh, Skype, all of the, the big time ones, all of the big name ones, and it's fantastic. It's kind of like a little messenger service, and they will put themselves up here in tabs as you add them. So let me add Squirrel Mail. When you put it in here, um, there's a couple of options. You can choose to uncheck notifications altogether. You can get rid of the service tab name, which I got rid of up here. So you would normally see this and it would say WhatsApp, this and it would say Gmail. But what I found is when I make this smaller, this fills up awfully quickly. And so for that reason, I just choose not to. Um, let me find a different one actually. Uh, huh, let's do WhatsApp actually. So um, we can call it WhatsApp 2. And you see you can do a line to write so this way you can separate them and basically what I've got I've got my personal things uh, over to this side with my work things over to this side so let me do a line to write and let's say that I've got a second whatsapp account I don't but let's just say that I do um, I want to show the notifications I don't want to show I'll keep the service name let's show the service name um, but let's say I don't want to include it in the global unread counter so tab on red counter is this right here. It shows you the count in the tab. Global means it'll show you right here. Part of this will turn red. So let's not include it in global, but include it in the tab on red. We'll do add WhatsApp. Here's WhatsApp too. And what you see, it opens up with uh, the same thing that you would see on the regular WhatsApp uh, web sign-in page. And Rambox is an Electron app. Basically, these are all individual web pages, and so you sign into them just like you would a regular web page. So the Instagram one, which I'm not going to show you, looks like the Instagram web page. Facebook, I've added separately. It's not included in the list, but it looks like the Facebook web page. And so uh, you open it up, you log into it just like you normally would. So with the Gmail ones, uh, actually I can add a Gmail one and log into it. Let's see here. Gmail 3. I'm not going to align it to the right. I'll keep it over here and I'll keep these things on. So add Gmail. Here's Gmail 3. Here's the login. So um, let's see. Teacher Admo Dix. I don't want to show you this. So, uh, you know, I don't feel like pausing the recording right now. At any rate, uh, I would log in and what you see is just a normal Gmail screen. Um, I'll show you my personal one quickly. That's it. Just a normal Gmail screen, right? Um, and it, you might be saying to yourself, okay, well then what is the, the difference between doing this and just having a bunch of Chrome tabs open? Well, the nice thing is this, you can turn it on, you can have it start automatically, which I think is the default setting as well. Um, but you can change that setting right here. Yeah, start automatically on system startup. 
If you have that checked, it'll start up, it'll connect to all of those things, it'll sign you into all of those things, and then it's ready and it's going. It'll give you notifications right down here if you have it show you notifications. Uh, so if you get a new email, if you get a new message, if you get whatever, um, it will show up right down there. And it gives you easy, quick access to it without having to have Chrome rug running in the background, hogging up a bunch of memory and a bunch of resources. But it's similar to Chrome and it does use a bunch of resources because it's an Electron app. So it's going to use some. Um, but it's just a nice way of, of not having to log into all of these things each and every time you turn on your computer and to still have them available right there. And honestly, I use it all the time. Um, think of it this way. If you have WhatsApp web uh, or, or the WhatsApp app that you use, or if you have Facebook Messenger or whatever, this type of software, which there's been lots of others, don't get me wrong, this is by far not the first of its kind. Um, instead of having a bunch of different apps, just put it all into one. And that's what kind of makes this nice. And uh, again, this is not the first of its kind, but it's you know fairly current. It works really well, and personally, I just I just like it. You know, I used to use one called Franz, but Franz would make you wait like 10 seconds when it opened up, and that 10 second wait, uh, it wasn't that it was loading or logging in or anything like that. It was a 10 second wait to try to convince you into paying for the pro version. Since this community edition is free, and you see there, and always will be. Uh, they don't harass you with stuff like that, with ads and everything. And you see, it's an open source project, which I just really personally love about it. So anyways, uh, that's all. Rambox, um, let's see here, rambox.pro, yeah, I guess it's just rambox.pro. Download for free, and I would get the community edition, and then it'll give you access to all of those different services all on one application all at one time. It's really nice. So, um, yeah, hope that helps somebody. Enjoy.